Hey everybody, you're probably wondering why you're looking at a battery. So I got two of these at Walmart and uh, I'm going to be replacing a seven-year-old RV battery. You can see right now, move the chair here, it's showing 14 volts. That's not true. Uh, at night it goes down to 10.5. If you look at a uh, charging chart, 10.5 means zero charge. And going down to 10 and not staying at 12, that means I got a bad sale. I can't complain about this battery. It's an interstate battery. It's been there, or it's been, I've been using it for seven years. It died once. I ran it dry once. Brought it back with a uh, BLS uh, battery saver. So I can't complain. And it's, it's time all we do is we run one pump every once in a while, the lights every once in a while, and a fan every once in a while. I'm not going to go with lithium batteries. Uh Everybody's going to go ape crap that I'm not going with lithium. I don't like it. I'm going cheap. For two batteries, I left Walmart with $200 less in my wallet. That gives me money to go spend on something else. A lithium battery for that size is anywhere from $600 to $800. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. So uh, I'll be turning the camera off and on and just showing you the progress of how I'm installing this and a couple of tricks that I do not to use the crimp tool. So uh, I'm going to get going. <laughs> Shall show you the next step. So here's a little trick I do. Let me get the part. I buy these terminals. So they're color coded, which is a must. And they come with these wing nuts. You can also attach here too. If you got a, a lug that'll fit it, you just crank down on it. So I don't like using crimp tools. Uh, I'm not gonna spend the money on one. So what I do, these are rated for 350. Get up closer here. 500 mcm cable they're aluminum they're rated for copper so you can see how it goes there i've got an allen that fits right into it and then i can crank down on it so coming in coming out i can put two cables to this now i use big fat welding cable that's on there good can't move it and then i'll go on to the next battery this makes changing out batteries pretty quick too. And uh, I can still get to the water and check the level on them. So I'm all good there too. And I like color coding the lugs. That just cuts down on human error and trying to arc something out when you're in a hurry. So that, that'll, that'll eliminate a lot of headache right there. I've got where the cable can go in. I cut the tape off of it. So this is just one of the tricks that I do. So here's something I've done here, the lights are off, duh. I drilled a hole in low to bring the wires in. Remember, hydrogen goes up. I'll seal this off with uh, good tape, but I want the hydrogen to go up. So here, there's the hoe. That's where the wires will come in, and they'll be going to these lugs. I hope the camera can pick it up. It's dark in here. Power's off. All right, on to the next step. So here's the next step. You can see a little daylight. So I've got a, these battery boxes vented to the outside. You can see the tubes that go to the cover. Let me go down here and show you what one looks like done. You can see maybe, let me turn some lights on. See that vent going to the top? That goes to the outside, hydrogen rises up. So I'll be showing you the next step and uh button it all up and show you what it looks like dressed out so real quick green light the bls is working that's the desulfator here's the cutoff from uh, missouri one and solar it's already charging there's a gauge that i put on charging and charging i was at 2.5 already at two point or yeah i was at 2.5 and now i'm at 2.8 87 full can't beat it, man. And everything's labeled. I got window panels. There's the panels. There's the battery. Roof. My fuse block. Roof. Everything's labeled so I don't do something stupid. So uh, on to the next step. So now I just want to show you what it looks like dressed up before I cover it up. So everything's sealed up. Vented. And these are RV boxes that you can get about anywhere. I think I got them on Amazon. Get them on eBay. 
they work out real good and you don't have to build your own battery box and i do have a separate video on that we all want to wrap the video up i want to show you one more thing i'm going to do so i've got this uh i call it a battery saver it's a battery desulfator that i got from missouri wind and solar uh, i've got i've used three bls's they work great but uh the missouri wind and solar is it's about half the price so uh, i've tried it it does work i've rejuvenated a no battery so what i'm going to do here's the product if you see it it says 12 volts so it ain't lying you've got to get this battery to 12 volts before this green light will turn on when the green light turns on you're off and running i leave this i left it on for about a month and it brought a decent battery back to good so this thing's reading at 10.9 that means it's zero but just a little bit more i mean one if i can get a cell to come back i'm gonna get this battery back so i may do an update video but i know that these things work i've used it before they call it the uh, skymax restate it's just a desulfator hits it with a square wave so one other thing i've done this battery box here i've got a meter with the alligator clips and what i want to do is use this box again and this is kind of my portable generator i've got a uh i'll show you right here get it dumpy real quick i'm all over the place but i've got a little inverter i use so between the inverter and the battery i've got a little power pack that i can take out in the field and use so uh, it's pretty handy so anyway that's what i do and things i try to do to save money so Anyway, I appreciate you watching. I'm sure I'm going to catch grief on using Walmart batteries for a solar system, but it's cheap. It works. I'll get five to seven years out of it. By that time, my big battery bank that I use at the cabin should be dead. So by that time, either lithium is going to go down or something's going to be better. Or I may just stick with lead. Lead works, but as of right now, I walked out of Walmart with money still in my pocket, so I can't go wrong. Start the hate, start the flame war on the comments. I love them. So uh, I appreciate you watching, and take care, and God bless.